If you've lived on planet Earth for the past few months, you've probably heard of Among Us. You may have also seen various people recreate the game in real life, but their renditions are always missing crucial game elements. Now, a high school student with almost no development experience is attempting to one-up them using technology. This is real life Among Us, but it's completely decked out with tech and stuff. So, it's time to start work on the tasks themselves. So if you remember in the previous episode, I created the system which the tasks are built upon, but the only task which was implemented was a very basic demo task where all you had to do was click a button and then be done with it. So, today I'm gonna go ahead and try to look at some of the tasks that Among Us has to offer and actually try to implement some of them into the program itself. So, if you think about tasks in Among Us, the first one that immediately comes to mind is wires. Everyone always gets killed when doing wires. But wires actually has a very complex user interface with a whole bunch of stretching lines and stuff which is not too easy to implement. So if we think about it from an ease of implementation of the interface standpoint, Simon Says is the obvious one. It's just got a whole bunch of buttons that you have to click in order. The problem with Simon Says is that if you leave and come back to it, it actually remembers its state, meaning that we would need some additional server-client communication, which the task system fully supports, but it's not the easiest one to implement, so it should probably be um, held off till later. So the other kind of main one that one would think of when doing tasks and the one that is really annoying because it takes forever is download task. Now the download task doesn't actually have a whole lot of user interfacing but it's going to require a fair amount of client-side code for dealing with the timer um, and some rendering to show the bar but not too hard rendering and it doesn't require any excess server client communication. So Let's go ahead and get started on download task. Okay, what the actual fuck? This doesn't make any sense. Okay, so it's saying that there's an invalid hooks call in the game screen component? I, that That's proven code. That, that should work. It's on the line handle begin task, which obviously is it makes sense in the context. It's crashing when I try to start the task, but in this particular thing, all I'm doing is setting the state of the game screen component. It was the fucking progress bar. How does a progress bar break my code? I, okay, I thought like all the weird stuff I was doing with timers and stuff was breaking it. It was the progress bar. How, how do you, how do you write a simple progress bar that manages to crash the entire code? Anyway, I went ahead and swapped it out for a different progress bar library. That's the thing about web development. Everyone seems to like to rely on their libraries, so I guess because it's easier, I will be no different. I installed a different progress bar library, and it magically worked. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, well, back to work, I guess, then. All right, so as it turns out, HTML actually has a 
built-in progress bar tag that I somehow didn't know about, so I've gone ahead and just replaced it, the weird library I was using with that. Much easier. <laughs> um, yeah. Not, not sure how I didn't know about that. Um, that's done now, so the logic of our upload slash download task is now complete. On a side note, it's uh, really good that I actually have been starting some of the tasks now instead of just kind of leaving them to everyone else and going to work on the next feature because it turns out that there's specific stuff within the task system that needs to be improved. Like, I should probably get around to learning hooks because it would probably be a good idea to implement a hook into the task component which allows tasks to detect when they're being canceled, you know, <clears throat> when someone hits the X button, which is actually part of the task window, not the task itself. But, you know, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. All right, so the next day I met up with our lead artists to talk about visual style and all that type of stuff. But unfortunately, I lost the footage from that. Just kidding, I didn't, but it's like an hour long, and I really don't want to go through that and edit it. Uh, but the gist of what we went over was essentially we decided on our art style. So it was basically a debate between cartoonish Among Us art style and sort of more sci-fi-ish art style that you see in a lot of Among Us short films and stuff. We decided on the latter, which was the sort of sci-fi style. So we're now ready to actually start work on the art for Real Life Among Us. So with the art underway, this project is really starting to come together. Off screen, I went ahead and implemented Simon Says as well and figured out some of the server client communication stuff, but that was really boring. So although I have that footage, it didn't end up finding a place in the episode. Um, and yeah, uh, in the next episode, I hope to start work on the meeting system. So I will see you then.